everyone. Welcome to Stonehouse Homestead, where we're taking small steps towards self-sufficiency. Get out of my garden. <laughs> Using what we have to do what we can right here where we are. And this evening, I am in the garden just taking a look to see what's going on with things. Um, this year, I'm doing a Tovin. Get out, Lord. I have got stuff coming up there. Knock it off. <clears throat> we do love him. <laughs> it's just frustrating. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, I've done a more condensed garden this year for several reasons, but I had got I did get some things in finally in between the rain. I have some weeding to do, as you can see, but we have um, three kinds of tomatoes. I have about 15 tomato plants in this year, which is about a third of what I normally put in. I normally put in about Oh, 40 to 50 tomato plants uh, but this year we've got much less I've got some basil planted in there as well I've got three different kinds of peppers I've got red bell orange bell and I've got some Tabasco peppers never grown those before uh, John's not going to care about this stuff <clears throat> this is a cantaloupe that I planted for the first time ever I'm the only one that likes melon in our house but here's cantaloupe I've got watermelon Watermelon was free from Baker Creek, the seeds we got at the Homesteaders of America conference. Baker Creek was giving away seeds, so I got some watermelon seeds. And then I've got cucumbers over in this corner. Over in this corner, weighing in at probably three or four ounces each. Oh, cucumbers! Um, anyway, sorry. Then over here I've got... Um, some green beans planted, plus some purple beans. It's the first year I've ever grown purple beans. Again, from Baker Creek, and the green beans I've planted are from what we have, the seeds that we have saved in the past. So I see some, some bean action going on. I have to go in here and clean up a little bit of the weeds, but things are going well. I planted some miscellaneous herbs. Oh, and follow me, let me show you something here. <clears throat> So, got to come around here. Look what our girls are doing, or have, have done. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody else likes duck eggs too. Yeah. So that's their, their little nest outside of their box. If they get up too early and I have to take them out too early in the morning, they'll come over here to the catnip forest and lay their eggs. So let me get that because we have a certain puppy who likes duck eggs. And then I just planted some miscellaneous herbs here. I've got four different kinds of mint. Got some lemon balm. Get out! Stop it. Oh, he sees that egg shell. So anyway, <clears throat> I've got some miscellaneous herbs in here. I've got uh, four kinds of mint. I've got lemon balm. Three kinds of oregano, some sage, some thyme, some rosemary. I've got basil planted over with the tomatoes. I'm going to try to get in a few chive seeds as well, maybe some cilantro. Again, this is all really condensed from what we normally do. And then I had a bed of greens over here. Some of them are still coming along. I've got kale and lettuce and spinach and Swiss chard. However, we have got more rabbits lounging in our backyard this year than I think we've ever had before. And they have found it very nice that they can just come here and sort of browse at my greens buffet. So they are basically decimating my greens. They've got, they've got the lettuce just completely taken down. They've started on, on the spinach and I think I can see where they've started on the kale as well. So this weekend we have to put some fences up around the greens bed. So we'll have fences within fences within fences. <laughs> Whatever it takes, right? <clears throat> so that's one of the big projects this weekend is to put these little fences up or else we're not having any greens at all this year. And the other thing I think I'm going to do is plant some in a pot, some lettuce, so that maybe we can get some that way and the, the bunnies won't take care of that for us. So that's what's been going on in the garden. I also was able to manage a 
um, spring cleaning of the deck house this past weekend. So about, I don't know, a couple, two, three times a year, I do a major cleaning of the deck house. On a weekly basis, I will freshen the chips and shovel out some old stuff and put new in and that kind of thing. But a couple times a year, two to three, I'll actually take everything out. I use some, um, some water with some dishwashing soap and I put some peppermint essential oil in it. And I scrub down the inside really, really good, rinse it all out, use a shop vac, get everything out. And then I freshen the chips back up, put new chips in. <laughs> and um, then I will take some of this catnip or when the mint gets big enough, I'll take some mint, I'll take some of the herbs, and I'll put some herbs in there too. That helps keep down bugs. Now ducks actually are pretty easy to take care of as far as mites and things like that go because they get in the water all the time. So that really takes care of anything that they might acquire. But just to keep other bugs out, flies and whatnot, uh, I, I put those herbs in and it seems to work well. So that's what's going on there. And then John will be posting videos soon about our Thrive Life Challenge that we've decided to take on. Since we have a reduced income during the summer months, we usually will do a big grocery shopping trip at the beginning of the summer months to hold us over while we're short on income until the fall. But we decided this year we were going to actually try to use our emergency food storage for a couple reasons. First off, we have it and we're going to see how far we can get with it and how much we can make. And number two, we've not really tried it before, so we decided that it would be a good idea to try the food at least. So if we ever did need it in an emergency, we didn't know whether or not we liked it and whether we should keep buying it and replenishing. So we have been surprised so far. And be on the lookout for those videos so that you can see some of the things that we've made and some of the products that we've tried from Thrive Life. And again, as I mentioned in every video, of the Thrive Life series, we do not sell this stuff, so we're not trying to get you to buy anything. We are just giving you our honest opinion on the products. Um, Mr. T there, he's been going to, that's actually the cute little name our dog walker gave him, Mr. T. We've uh, been going to advanced classes. He seems to like mint. <clears throat> and he's um, learning a bunch of new stuff. He's a star pupil, and I think the trainer has a little crush on him, of course, because he's so darn cute. He's so darn mischievous, too. But uh, he's doing well. He's got some surgery coming up in the next month. So we all know what that's for. And so we'll have that to deal with. And the ducks keep laying. We get at least one, maybe sometimes two, three eggs a day, but at least one for right now. So they're doing well. Right, girls? <laughs> Let's see, what else has been going on around here? It went from being very, very rainy to all of a sudden being very, very hot. So we're having to get all of our stuff in in the morning, trying to get stuff done. <clears throat> oh, and of course, there's nothing like a stick. Even if it's a root coming out of the ground. This is our current wet weather duck pond that we were going to make into actual an actual pond until we decided to redo things here in the garden. So this is going to get filled in and we're actually going to put the duck pond in that corner with a new duck house. So again, that's in the works. Our peach tree is loaded up, so hopefully we'll get some peaches. Last year we had issues with squirrels. They would come, steal the peaches, eat them, and then leave the peach pits laying on the fence. <laughs> They have peach pits lined up on the fence, those little brats. So hopefully this year we'll be able to get a better peach harvest. Other than that, just getting ready for the summer, getting ready for some canning and food preservation coming up soon. Be on the lookout for that video too, because I'm going to be canning some tomatoes soon. And you may say to yourself, tomatoes already? It's just the end of May. You have tomatoes? I do have tomatoes, but they're not from this year's garden. They're from last year's garden. They've been sitting in my freezer. So I will show you how I freeze and process tomatoes all year long from one harvest from the previous season. I think I'm rambling now. Anything else? No? All right. Well, that's it. That's What's Up Wednesday. That's what's been going on here at Stonehouse Homestead. and. Hopefully, 
as the summer progresses, we'll have more and more to show you and just life has happened and things have had to take a little bit of a slowdown, but we're trying to get right back to it. So um, we ask that you just please subscribe so you can get all of our updates so you can see what's going on around here. Also, give us a thumbs up. We are also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So you can find us in all of those places as well. So until next time, you guys have a great evening.